Greetings, Millbrook families. This is news from around the district in a Millbrook minute. First up, we have Mr. Sype from the high school. Thank you, Superintendent Hernandez. Although it was a short week, it was great seeing everyone back in the building. Next week on Monday, we will be recognizing our new National Honor Society inductees. Also, a representative from the Community Foundations of the Hudson Valley will be visiting senior classrooms on Monday to discuss a scholarship opportunity. And on Friday, Mrs. Prince will be visiting all of the senior social studies classrooms to discuss many local scholarship opportunities. In athletics, the boys basketball teams are home on Tuesday and Friday. Girls basketball hosts back and kill on Thursday at 4.30. And our winter track teams will be competing on Saturday at West Point. Have a great weekend. Here's Mr. Cabello at the middle school. Thank you so much, Mr. Seip. We are so excited to see all of our students back in the building and getting started uh, with their winter athletics and their classes here in the new year. Uh, with the new year comes some new things. Uh, coming off an incredible choral performance, we're happy to welcome Ms. Kristen Scoven, who's taking over all of the general music classes here at Millbrook Middle School and continuing all of her work at Alden Place. Uh, please look out in your email today for our monthly newsletter. We'll tell you about all of the things occurring here in the new year and even taking a nice look back at the holiday here at Millbrook Middle School. With news from Alden Place, here's Mr. Lipka. Thank you, Mr. Cabello. Uh, the Alden Place Literacy Coach, Megan Hargrave, will be teaching a reading lesson in each of our classrooms on Monday or Tuesday next week. Kindness Club did meet this week and they'll continue with all five Wednesdays in January. Uh, we're also excited about Ms. Coven and her work. Uh, her elementary band uh, students are working on their all county edition pieces for next week tryouts. Have a great weekend. And now on to Mrs. O'Connell at Elm Drive. Thank you, Mr. Lipka. I hope you all enjoyed your break and you're having a great start to this new year. Uh, next week, we look forward to the return of Mindful Movements, as well as our literary, literacy coach, Shelly Klein. She will be providing further professional development for all of our pre-K through two teachers. And have a great weekend. Now on to Ms. Chanowski with Pupil Personnel Services. Thank you, Mrs. O'Connell. Happy New Year and welcome back to everyone. We have lots of exciting changes in the PPS office while you guys were gone on break. Um, the first one is that our office has moved. So we're still located in the middle school, just across the hall from our previous office space. If you need some help finding us, report to the middle school and we will be happy to direct you to us from there. Additionally, I'm very excited to welcome Amanda Kessman as the new PPS administrative assistant. Amanda is a wonderful addition to our office and we're so lucky to have her. Maris Athletics is hosting its first sensory sensitive basketball game on Saturday, January 13th, when the women's basketball team takes on Niagara at 4 p.m. in the McCann Arena, um, which has been designated an autism supportive environment by the Anderson Center um, Training and Consulting. Parts of the game are going to be presented um, and modified to reduce loud noise, unexpected sounds, and flashing lights. So fans and families seeking a supportive environment will be able to find ample space and amenities with specially reserved sensory supportive general admission seating. If you're interested in this event, tickets can be reserved by selecting sensory supportive general admission for the January 13th game. We will include the link when we send out our um, Millbrook Minute today. Uh, another reminder, if you have received a consent for reevaluation for your child, please ensure that you return that to the PPS office so we can work on getting that scheduled and assigned. Thank you so much. And now on to Mr. Kirsch. Thank you, Ms. Janowski. I'm really looking forward to attending tonight's basketball game. Uh, this is a message for our high school parents and students. We have reposted the first report card from marking period one and included our cumulative weighted GPAs. Parents, if you have not done so and would like to sign up for a Parent View account, please contact your building's main office so we can pro provide further assistance. Now on to Dr. Watkins. Thank you, Mr. Kirsch. Welcome back, everyone. Happy New Year. We hope you enjoyed your break. With the new year comes new germs. So with the rise of respiratory infections, we did want to remind families that regular hand washing is one of the best ways to remove germs, avoid getting sick, and prevent spreading those germs to others. 
Also, as a reminder, next Friday, January 12th, is an early release day. So for our uh, secondary buildings, middle and high school, they will release at 11.04, while our elementary schools will release at 11.40. With that, we're off to business and personnel with Mr. Garcia. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Thank you, Dr. Watkins. Uh, in addition to uh, the office moves for PPS noted by Ms. Janowski, we've also moved the business office uh, back across the hall where PPS used to be. So uh, your admin offices have been shuffled. I definitely want to thank our facilities team, our custodians and maintenance workers who are here throughout the winter recess uh, on holidays, on weekends, giving up their time to make sure that we were ready to come back rocking and rolling for the new calendar year. So thank you very much to our facilities team for helping helping make all these moves happen very quickly so we could get right back to work. Uh, we have a couple of positions still open, um, highlighting our instructional positions. We have a full-time Spanish teacher position, an ENL position. We also have an open secondary music position that we're still looking to fill. So if you or anybody that you know would like to join our team, if they're certificated in any of these content areas especially, please have them check out our website. Uh, we also have a number of full-time, part-time, and per diem positions available. Uh, with that, we go back to Ms. Hernandez. Thank you, Mr. Garcia. We're so excited to announce officially that as of January 2nd, the Millbrook Central School District has been approved for the Community Eligibility Program for Food Services. This means that all students will receive meals at no charge. This includes the subsidized meal. However, there will be a charge for second lunches, a la carte items, and any beverages not included with the school lunch. I want to say thank you to Mrs. Hetty for her work on this application and bringing this across the finish line so that the students of our district can be assured nice warm meals every single day from here forward. If there are any updates to this program, we will absolutely let you know. And as always, we wish you a great weekend and week. We will see you next Friday.